Hello, so I wanted to show off a on key item that I just created. Um, I came upon this uh, text-to-speech software called VoiceVox, which generates Japanese audio. I can actually show it off to you real quick. So they have this um, little GUI thing for controlling their text-to-speech software. Um, you can type in any Japanese sentence you want here. It will generate audio for you. こんにちは。音声防声の世界へようこそ。and if you've used any other TTS software, you can tell it's pretty good compared to what's on the market today. Um, yeah, so my Anki add-on just enables you to use this to generate audio for sentences in Anki. Um, you could download this audio here and paste it in, but I wanted to automate that process. So I'll show you how to set that up. Uh, first of all, I'll uh, have a link to the add-on in the description. Uh, you can go here and you can follow the step-by-step -step guide here or on the github page but uh, the first step is to actually download voicebox the add-on does not work without voicebox in installed uh, it communicates with voicebox's engine and uh, generates the audio and that goes into your anki cards so first thing we do is go to this link here and download voicebox so when you click download um, you'll have a couple options for your os and GPU, CPU, and uh, what type you want, what package. Um, I would generally just click GPU, CPU, because it'll use a CPU if you don't have a GPU that's available. Um, but if you have any problems, go with CPU. Um, and then for the installer, you can either install it like a program on Windows or a zip file. I personally like a zip file. Um, and when you download this, it'll take a little bit because it's about a gig. Um, this is a machine learning model, so it's pretty large. I already have it downloaded, so I'm just gonna open that. Uh, if you download like a zip, you'll get a folder like this with a bunch of files in it. Um, the two important files here are run.exe and voicebox.exe. So voicebox is the software I had open earlier. Um, this is this software. You can choose from a list of characters and they all have different voices and you can paste in whatever thing you want here and hit play. Konnichiwa. I gotta say the male voices are much worse than the female ones. I'm not sure why, but that's just how it works. Um, the important thing is this run.exe. This is what you'll be running whenever you want to use it in Anki. So this is the engine. It'll bring up a command prompt. And uh, when you see it, when you have this running, you can generate audio in Anki. Um, next, we need to download this add-on. So if you go down to the bottom of this page and copy this code down here um, and you can put it into Anki and it will download the add-on. So give it a second for Anki to open up. We're going to go to Tools, Add-ons, um, and then Get Add-on, paste in the code, OK. You should see it add VoiceVox Japanese text to speech audio generator here. Uh, you'll need to restart Anki. Give it a second to close and reopen. Uh, it'll download some things and it'll be ready to, to work. So, assuming you have this run.exe running in the background, you can then go to whatever cards you want to generate audio for. So, I'll just scroll down to some that don't have audio, like down here. Um, um, so, I'll generate one for this. Uh, if you right click and click Generated voice box audio. You'll get a menu here. It'll tell you how many notes you have selected. You can actually select more than one, so let's do that real quick. If you click and drag, you can drag a bunch of them. Right click, generate voice box audio. And you see I have nine here. And you have a couple options here. So this source field is the, the uh, sentence field that you want to read from. So if you have a sentence here in expression, you want to select expression, and if you want to place the audio in audio, you would select audio. So um, basically, you're just choosing which fields to read from and write from, or write to. So in my case, expression and audio is what I want. And there's a couple of speakers you can choose from, just like in the uh, program you saw me open earlier. Uh, you can preview them here. Uh, they have a different, a couple different styles to them. Um, 
そこの角を右に曲がって縛っ本日はご来、yeah. おはようございます。カスカベツムギです。And then once you're happy with whatever speaker and style you've chosen, you click generate audio. And this might take a bit.、Um, this will take, if you don't have a GPU to run this on, it might take a little bit longer, but it's fairly quick for how high quality the audio is. So just give it a bit. And then once it's done, you click back on the cards. You should see it filled out the audio field with an audio file. And if you preview your card in the top right, 同情やレンディンではなく、アストラル使いを理解しようとしてくれている。You can see a generated audio for us. And yeah, that's the add-on.、Um, if you have any questions or anything, there is a GitHub page、um, where you can submit issues. If you just go to the GitHub page, I'll have in the description. Go to issues, and you can create an issue here.、Uh, if there's any bugs or anything, that's where you want to place that.、Um, other than that, That's all I got.